Hi guys, so today I am going to show you how to make pancakes and most of you are probably thinking well how hard is it to mix water with a box of pancake mix. However, these are going to be made out of scratch and also involve a secret ingredient. Um, I figured that pancakes was a good option because it's a classic breakfast food that most people enjoy, but I also feel like sometimes they can involve flour, sugar, butter, syrup, and after all of that it kind of seems like you've been served dessert for breakfast. So I really believe in getting the proper servings of fruits and vegetables in throughout your day. And with that being said, I'm not suggesting that you need to eliminate pancakes out of your life or am I suggesting to eat your pancakes with a side of spinach. But what I will be doing is showing you how to make pancakes that are made out of spinach, um, as well as just a couple other ingredients that you probably already have in your house. So what you're gonna need is a blender and a pan and a spatula. And it would also help to have some teaspoon measures on hand as well as a cup measure. So the ingredients you're gonna need to make these pancakes um, is gonna be one banana, an egg, maple syrup, baking powder, salt, milk, and then any kind of uncooked oatmeal. These are rolled oats. Anything that's uncooked works. Um, I also have a little bit of butter here just to grease your pan, but you can use any kind of oil. You're gonna take a cup of spinach. One cup is measured out in here. I'm gonna dump it in the blender. You're going to take a half a cup of milk, dump it right in the blender. You're going to take your cup of oats already measured out, add it to the blender. You're going to crack your one egg right into the blender. I'm going to throw this banana in there. Don't even have to cut it up. Now I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of maple syrup. And then you're going to also want one teaspoon of baking powder. For the salt, you're going to want a quarter of a teaspoon. So once everything's in there, you're just going to blend it up. Alright, so I have transferred the mixed product into just a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour onto the pan. I have my pan already heated up. I heat it up to like a low medium heat and my butter is already melted on here. So you just want to pour it onto a pan. Cook it just like you would with regular pancakes and the bigger you make them, the fluffier they're going to turn out. So just let it cook. This is a little different than most pancakes. Usually you'll see bubbles on the side of the pancake to let you know when it's ready to flip. But I just pull it up a little bit, see how it's looking on the other side, and flip it when I think it's ready. Okay, so I am just picking this up off the pan, seeing that it's pretty golden brown. So I'm going to flip it over, let the other side cook. So the end result will leave you with a green fluffy pancake. And I just think it's fun for kids to have colorful food. It's also nice for anyone else to know that they're eating a healthy breakfast that has fruits and vegetables involved and is eliminating flours and sugars, stuff that will drag you down throughout the day. So that is my spinach banana pancake recipe, and I hope you guys find it simple, easy, and delicious. Thank you.